So in Skull and Bones, the end game currency is known as pieces of eight. And in this video, we're going to go through exactly how you can get your hands on lots and lots of them. So you'll see here there are blueprints available at the helm manager. And it goes all the way up to 5,000 pieces of eight for the sandbuck, which is definitely up there as one of the strongest ships in the game. But if you are fulfilling orders, you're going to be getting around like 80 to 90 pieces of eight. So it's going to take quite a long time. And not only that, you need to get your hands on the resources to craft the opium and the rum and everything like that. So instead, when you reach Kingpin Infamy rank, so make your way through the Infamy ranks. I've got a video on how to level up fast on the channel already. Once you reach Kingpin, it just carries on. Like, it just goes on and on and on. Like, you'll see, it just, it keeps going up. And people have said they've got to, like, Kingpin a thousand on this. Like, looking through this captain log. So, yeah, it pretty much doesn't stop. Your Kingpin just carries on. But once you reach Kingpin, you're going to unlock the helm. So, if we go along, instead of going to the map, if we bumper along once more, we're going to have the helm. And you start off in the Red Isle, and then you can eventually go to the coast of Africa, and you can get East Indies as well. But it's 5,000 pieces of eight to unlock those as well. So if we zoom in and we have a look, you'll see that I need to go and collect. I'm awful with keeping up with this because there's just so much in this game that distracts me. But these are known as the manufactories. And every 30 minutes, there's going to be a takeover opportunity. You'll see at the bottom left, there's 17 minutes until the next one. Each time a takeover opportunity pops up, you're going to have an opportunity to go and take one of these over so the manufactory is yours when you do a hostile takeover it's a pvp event uh, like oftentimes there's no pvp actually happening but every now and then there will be however if you don't want to do pvp there is a pve event which is a legendary heist it'll come up blue instead of red that is a co-op one so every player involved will get a manufactory for th like for free and there's no pvp combat in that one but the thing is with hostile takeovers you have choice in which manufactory you're claiming and there are benefits to make these produce more pieces of eight so if we go to the overview you're going to see i've got 14 out of the 76 available manufactories and then i have two out of 18 territories and 13 out of 96 trade routes so with the territories once you take control of all the manufactories within a territory or a region you earn a production bonus and then with the trade routes you establish your own trade routes by taking control of linked manufacturers to earn a production bonus as well. These two here, so you've got Garand and then you've got Fondry Royale. These have these dotted lines that go to and from. These are the supply routes. So as long as you have these two manufacturers, you're going to get that production bonus. And then not only that, because they are the only two within this region, you're also going to get another production bonus. So what these are going to do is you're going to fund them with silver, and they are going to produce pieces of eight over time. They're basically an automated version of doing deliveries. And you can do supply runs. You can go and boost their production even further. But if you just leave them to do their own thing, make sure they're always funded. They will eventually fill up. And at any point, as long as there are pieces of eight, you can go and collect them. And what you're wanting to do realistically is gather as many as you can in one run. So you go around to all these different areas. You pick up the pieces of eight. Every time you do, there's going to be an enemy that spawns in to try and kill you. So deal with them, keep going around, pick them all up, and then you have to return to a den. You can go to other outposts and stuff, but you can't fast travel or anything like that. In order to actually collect these, you need to return to your den. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little run. I'll just do these two down here. So I'm going to set sail. I'm going to come down to the Fondery Royale. Then I'm going to go back up to Grand, and then I'm going to return to the den. So I'm just approaching the Royale place and if we interact you are going to see we can collect our profit. This one's only 45. You can level up these manufactories and everything which I'll show you in a moment. So now I've collected my pieces of eight. I've got 45 on me. So you'll see we've got the enemy ship that's come in to uh, try and deal with me but it's not going to happen. These ships are actually really really easy to deal with. So uh, yeah I've already taken it down. You don't get any loot or anything but you do actually get quite a lot of infamy. And we're going to collect our 60. So that's 105 that I've got on me. That's more than a supply run. And it's taken nowhere near as much time. I don't need to craft anything or gather materials. You just need to let it do its own thing. And then very quickly while we're sailing back, you can go and pick up from anyone in any order. I recommend trying to do quite a few in the same run. Just obviously be very, very careful because I believe, I haven't died yet, but I believe 
if you die before making it back to the den, you lose the pieces of eight. I'm not 100% sure on that, but just in case, be very, very careful. You are going to see that we have now got plus 105 pieces of eight. So if I go to the helm menu, I've now got 230. I had 125. And as I've shown you, you can access the helm from like the main map. So you can like figure out your hostile takeovers and everything like that from there. But if you come to the helm empire overview, this is where things get really, really interesting. Because if you open this up, there are leaderboards. You're going to get rewards. You're going to get sovereigns and everything like that. But this is where you want to pay attention. This is where I've started putting my pieces of eight. If we go to the upgrades tab, you are going to see here my next one, which is 200. I'm actually going to do that one. I unlock the production of gold skull rum from the refinement of white skull rum. But if we go along, you're going to get this sea people efficiency. There's also for the Confederation, the Dominion, and then there's also supply run stuff as well. And there's lots and lots of upgrades. But then if you go to the Empire, you're going to see like here, for an example, funded for the next like 36 minutes, you're going to see current 14 per hour and storage size is 60. So as soon as this manufactory hits 60 pieces of eight, it stops producing them. And that's why all of mine say full up because they've reached their max storage size. So you can use pieces of eight to upgrade them. And you'll see going to the next level, puts it up to 15 an hour and the storage size goes up to 80. So the higher level you get these manufacturers, the less you have to go around collecting from them. Because like right now I'm pretty much making none because everything's full up. But I am going to do a massive run and I'm going to collect all of these ones. And then I'll probably wait for these two to fill up or something to grab this one as well. So as soon as you hit Kingpin, you are able to start doing all of this. And then obviously there's the other two regions as well. And the more time you put into it, the more you're collecting your pieces of eight and stuff, the faster you're going to get through it. And eventually you'll be making thousands and thousands without even thinking about it. The hostile takeovers can sometimes go against you instead of being in your favor. Like there's a couple of other players in there. Like if you're late to it, you have to sink the other player to have any chance of actually winning that manufactory for yourself. So I recommend if you're not interested in PvP, like if you don't want to risk it too much, you want an easy time getting hold of manufactories, go for the blue PvP. PVE events because everyone involved like everyone that participates gets the manufactory you've just basically got to take out the ship and then return to the den and the manufactory that is like being put up for the reward is yours and then obviously once you've got pieces of eight and everything you can buy stuff from the manager like really really high tier weapons and everything including that end game ship we had a look at at the start of the video but not only that pay attention to your upgrades as well because they're going to help you out in the long run too and definitely do not forget about the territory bonus and the supply route bonus as well but that is exactly how you get your hands on the biggest amount of pieces of eight in the shortest amount of time in skull and bones and what we're going to do is leave that video there let me know your thoughts and stuff about the end game in skull and bones in the comments i will see you in the next one i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it helped you out thank you for watching